Timing is a one-man show about this man's journey to find another man, the father I never knew. The show came about because I happened to be chatting with uh, Max, the artistic director of live theatre, in the pub one night. And I'd recently just got back from this journey to try and find out, find out about my father. Uh, I told him the story in the pub and he just said, we've got to make a show. I didn't want to at first, because uh, I'm not really a big fan of one-man shows. It normally involves you... Uh, just showing off and you know playing the saxophone if you can, or juggling and that, and I hate jugglers. But the more I thought about it, the more I thought the, the story might resonate with, with people. Uh, so I agreed, and here we are, a year later. In 2012, I took a train south to find out about my father, and I discovered incredible parallels and similarities between our personalities and lives. And I mean, we'd never ever met, yet we'd shared similar life paths. We had the same sense of humour, the same DVD collection, the same careers. It was all pretty spooky. Well, <clears throat> like I said, I never knew my father growing up and I had never really tried to find him. It wasn't until I got into my 40s that I really started to think that there was a, perhaps a piece missing of the jigsaw puzzle that was me. So, with the help of my mum, we eventually tracked down my dad. And so I embarked on this journey to find out about the man, my errant father. Uh, I think this show will be different to other women shows that you've seen before, uh, partly because, well, I'm in it, because uh, I'm quite different. Um, it uses a lot of uh, projections and technology. Uh, it's part stand-up, part personal testimony and part a science lecture as well, which I think is going to be an interesting mix for people. And I, I hope it's a story that people can resonate with, can, can really relate to. Uh, and I hope they'll come along with me on this sort of emotional roller coaster ride that I went on to, uh, to do, to find out about my father and discover truly what we do pass down to our children. And I suppose also uh, th how the things that we keep from our loved ones in the name of love itself can have a profound effect on their lives. The show is called Good Timing for various reasons. There's a, uh, there's a time travel element in the show in that I pop backwards and forwards in time through my own timeline uh, to unravel the mystery of my father. And I do that with the help of uh, a certain doctor and his TARDIS. And you can see it here, here I travel in time during the show, backwards and forwards, with the help of this rather tasty biscuit barrel doctor. This is the doctor. Um, very nice. Well, I'm, I'm Dr. Nice. Um, so that's partly why it's called good timing. I'm just going to cut for a second while I finish the biscuit. Um, um, the other reason why it's called good timing is it was my father's favourite song. But we had timing. A tick, a tick, a tick, a good timing. 